America's newest multi, multi, multi millionaire. One winning ticket was sold last night's $338 million Powerball jackpot. The winning numbers were 17, 29, 31, 52, 53. And the Powerball was 31. That winning ticket was sold. We know this now. Somewhere in New Jersey. And ABC's Rob Nelson is in border town this morning at a very busy store. We don't know if he's at the exact store, but he's hopefully in the right state. There he is. Hey, <laughs> Rob, good morning. Good morning, guys. That's right. We're at a truck stop here in Bordentown, New Jersey. And now they tell me they usually sell between $200 and $400 worth of Powerball tickets on a typical day. Yesterday, though, they sold about $1,000 worth part of that Powerball frenzy around the country. Now, we don't know exactly if this is the store where the winning ticket was sold, but we do know that somewhere, someone in the Garden State is waking up this morning able to afford a lot more gardens. Tonight it is 31. That was somebody's lucky number in New Jersey, where one Powerball player is waking up $338 million richer. And Powerball? Lottery frenzy has swept the country for days, and Saturday night finally brought some relief. With $338 million on the line, more than 81 million tickets for this weekend's drawing were sold. It was the sixth biggest jackpot of all time. And 15 million more was given out to winners in 12 states. It's a whole new range of possibilities, more possibilities than you've ever had before. It's like Christmas on steroids. Susan Bradley is the founder of the Sudden Money Institute, a phone call this Jersey player may want to make. She helps people with the life transitions that go along with winning all that cash. It's about learning how to manage change much more than managing the money. There are a lot of expectations from friends and relatives. Some families feel like we won the lottery when it's really you won the lottery. One relative that may be calling is Uncle Sam, with sequester cuts forcing the White House to shave 74 grand a week out of their budget by shutting its doors to school tours. A cool 338 million could keep kiddies cruising those hallowed halls for 4,000 in 567 weeks. Meanwhile, others have dreams a little closer to home. And if you win, oh, I bought me a big old house. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. A new home doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. And, of course, the big question in all of this is exactly which store in New Jersey sold the winning ticket. We don't know that just yet, but we do expect to get a few details on Monday when lottery officials hold a press conference. And, guys, just a real quick point of personal privilege here. As someone who was raised in southern New Jersey, I just want to take a second out to say to all of my family and friends in this state who may have gotten that winning ticket how much I truly and deeply <laughs> love you.